no problem. Okay. Can I get these okay. on? Okay. And the avocado I've chopped up to put in here. What are you doing there, Phil? A little idea. A little idea. A little bit of a rain. You're all will become apparent in a minute. Okay. Don't mind that at all. All right. Is this and what about Mexico? Mexican food? Would you ever? Would you ever consider serving Mexican food in your restaurant? I'd, I'll give it a go at the brasserie. I'd like to practice it more and get it so I really have got it spot on. Um, but yeah, I think, I think because people are so well travelled nowadays and they've lived abroad, I lived abroad, I, I was in America for two years myself, um, but with people going on mm. holiday, experiencing spicy foods and stuff, um, they're more well travelled and they expect different cuisines and different cultures. I think that's the exciting thing about food. Yeah, something like that, definitely. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Now it's all coming along. You want plenty of lime juice in there, do you? Yes, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's get a tray. How long have we got, Ains? Okay, you've got about six minutes. That's right. Uh, looking good there. We've yeah. got the iceberg and lettuce that we're going to be cooking up. We're going to pop those into the oven now, are you, Chef? I am indeed, because obviously I just want to space. make sure I've got enough space. Okay. Um, they puffed up, the baking powder's done its job, and the idea of these is as you eat them, mm -hmm. the corn's not going to be all the way cooked through, and I don't want that. I want it so it pops in your mouth as you eat it. And that's how you have it in Mexico, isn't it? Thanks for saying yes. <laughs> you don't need to pop them in there for very long. No, I'll not, at all, not at all, for you. not at all. Okay. See, you scoff, okay. you lot. You all, all right, scoff, Mr. Tanner, but look, you see. Okay, happy with that there, Chef? Lovely, lovely. Beautiful. Brilliant. And right. you can see that. You've got, I've put a little bit of herb in there. You can put a bit of coriander, a bit of parsley through there. Whatever that herbs you've got at home, even if you've got a bit of basil, guys, chop it up, put that in there. Salsa's just a combination of things that you've got, kind of, you know, way of using things up, really. All right, now, we do have a uh, quickie question for one of our audience members. Okay. How about that, Chef? There we are. <clears throat> And uh, today it's from Belle Wallace. Hello, Belle. How are you? Hello, nice to meet you. Are you okay? Nice to see you. And uh, what would you like to ask our chefs? It's quite important, wow. isn't it? Something quite romantic in the air, I believe. Yes. Well, no, actually, I haven't. I haven't met a man yet. So <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking maybe of some sort of romantic dessert that I could lure him in with, you know. That there you go. Someone. Romantic dessert that she could lure a man in that she hasn't found yet. <laughs> But when he smells it cooking, he might come running, eh? Is that oh, it? exactly. Keep All the right, windows yeah. open. Go on, James. <laughs> you made one there. You made a lovely one, look. For me, I, I like this. Oh, yeah, right. It's ahead. a chocolate fondant. Mm. Um, it's lovely and gooey on, in the middle, but firm on the outside. A bit like myself, really. Oh. Um, <laughs> and, uh, no, it's, it's, just, it's just very nice, it's very rich, it's very warming. It's a great little sharing dish for that moment when you want to spoon feed someone. <laughs> You know? How do you make it, James? Get on with it. <laughs> melt chocolate, melt, melt equal amounts of chocolate and butter. Add a very good quality cocoa powder to it. Add some self-raising flour, Dariol mould or a ramekin. Butter it and then put cocoa powder in to stick to the butter. So as it cooks, it gets a chocolate crust. Bake it for eight minutes. Leave it to stand for two minutes. As you cut into it, it oozes out. And then just get a good quality ice cream of it. Perfect. Yeah. What about a quick one from you then, Phil? Um, I would get. Can I condense milk into a bowl, juice of four limes, 200 grams of cream cheese, whisk up the cream cheese and condensed milk, and then pour in the lime juice, it sets in five seconds, put it into a pot, put it in the fridge, cover it in chocolate, and it is absolutely to die for. It sets yeah. the mood. Really, really simple. simple. <laughs> Will that get her a man, Phil? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he got me well a woman. Done, Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> OK, two and a half minutes, guys. Yep. OK. OK, what are we doing here now, guys? Right, Phil's finishing off his steak. I've sliced some lettuce. I'm going to yeah. get my cakes oh, out that, now. Cheers. Okay, do you want to put some iceberg lettuce into yes, these? Yes, please. Uh, That'd be great. Taco yeah. shells, yeah. And I've got this one here. Oh, so that's really spicy. Right there. Uh, can I just add that you've always got to use a non-stick tray when putting things on? Like that. <laughs> Works really well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we are. So we've got four of these, guys. Yeah, I've got right. this is there we are. Do you want oh, salsa two. going in here? We've got two minutes exactly to go now. Stay, but it sounds My lovely. apologies, Phil. Let's go, don't worry. See, our yeah. little tiny sort of concrete. Do you like that idea, Ains? I like the idea. I think it's a like lovely idea. idea. Beautiful. I'll move out of the way so you idea. can fill those in. Do you want iceberg lettuce in all of them, Chef? Um, yeah, go on. Because, I mean, Mexican food is essentially sort of very, very cheap peasant food. So mm. they're very, very frugal on using expensive ingredients. OK, come on, James, this is your bag, mate. Tell us what else you want here, Chef. I'm just about to grate a bit of cheese for it. OK, did you put some chilli in there, by the way? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we'll have a bit of chilli garnish. Yeah. 
Okay, coming up to the one minute mark now, chaps. Okay, there we are. Great stuff. Beautiful. Happy? Yep. Okay, let's just finish these off then. Now it's a little bit of chilli just to just pop it in there. Okay, we've got about 50 nice seconds one. to go now, chaps. There we are. That we'll voice. just uh, display that, uh, look at that around there, just to make that look really no, good. That's it, looking good, looking good. Okay, what about this? A bit more of this? Oh, yeah, I'm going to finish that on here as well, yeah? Okay, Chef, lovely. A little bit of salsa on top yep. of the steak. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, 30 seconds. Oh, dear. Oh, shut up. <laughs> there you go, beautiful. That's looking good. Stay in there. Okay, 20 seconds to go. Audience, get ready to help us count down. That. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Start picking! Anna, come and join us. How are you doing? All right. Lovely to have you here. Uh, memories of Mexico come flooding back, perhaps? Take me back, yeah. yeah go wow, on. Before we get gorgeous. into that, that is a bit messy, that, isn't yeah. it? You try those lovely sweet corn fritters with the salsa on top. Oh. And what else went into there, then, Chef? Okay, so, obviously, uh, flour, raw sweet corn kernels, bit of baking powder, some milk and an egg. Mm -hmm. Light and fluffy, and then with the salsa, it's lime juice. It's all about the lime. Keeping the avocado its colour, but also to add that bit of zing. Mm. I sliced a bit of raw chilli on the top. Can put it through the salsa, really. Okay. Um, we got chive cream fresh. That cools things down from the heat of the chilli and everything else. What do you think? Mm. That's gorgeous. Is that lovely? Yeah, that's lovely. That probably takes you back, doesn't mm. it? Okay then, and we're going to allow you to tuck into that now. Look, I've even got some napkins here <laughs> for you. I don't know oh. how I'm going to get... And what about this? What else did you uh, ask us to do here then? Well, this was down to the field, really, for the main ingredients, which was the steak. Because um, you separate the steak out, Phil. Yeah, a chopped up steak made of very simple corn carne, very, very quick chopped tomatoes, <laughs> nice mm. bit of it. Well, go on, they get stuck in, girl. And then we dry fried the, the steak and finished it with lots and lots of lime juice, chilli, coriander, and that's just and put it in taco with, Absolutely. with um, ice bay lettuce, mm. a bit of creme fraiche. And it's cheese. all available on our website, ladies and gentlemen, something you won't get on our website just yet. A fantastic banana armour. Please welcome back Karen and, of course, Phil Lovely. <laughs> How you doing? Are you all right, Sarah? Yes. Lovely. Kevin and Sarah, you get stuck in there. Oh, lovely, uh, yes. We've run out of time, and so please do join us again soon on Ready, Steady, Cook for more cooking inspiration from all of us until next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. See ya. BBC One's weakest link rendezvous is just getting underway. Hoping to soak up all that rural life has to offer. A couple head back to their roots in Escape to the Country next on BBC Two. And then later at six, £7,000 up for grabs in Eggheads.